Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the new lecture on medicinal chemistry. This is me, Faraz Kurban Rakhbar, and in this video lecture, I am going to discuss with you about the medicinal chemistry of sulfasalazine, its chemical structure, structure activity relationship, of, and its metabolism. Sulfasalazine. Sulfasalazine, we know that it is one of the products of sulfonamide. Basically, it is a product of sulfapyridine. Sulfapyridine that is N1 substituted sulfaninamide derivative in which N1 site was being substituted with the pyridine heterocyclic ring. As far as its physical properties are concerned, it acts as a brownish yellow odorless powder that is slightly soluble in alcohol but practically insoluble in water, ether and benzene. Basically, sulfasalazine is a product in which the two different derivative are being combined. One is the salicylic acid derivative, other is the sulfapyridine. They both are being linked together by the azo linkage or azo bond to form the product. That is the sulfasalazine. Now, let's discuss the chemical structure of sulfasalazine. This is the chemical structure of sulfasalazine. In this, uh, you may observe that uh, there are the different regions in its chemical structure. This region of chemical structure is known as the sulfapyridine. If you will observe that uh, it is being substituted with the heterocyclic pyridine ring. And this other region is the sulfanilamide region. And with this para position, amino functional group is further substituted with the amino salicylic acid that is the 5 amino salicylic acid this is the structure of salicylic acid because uh, once the benzene has the carboxylic acid functional group and hydroxyl functional group then the structure will be known as the salicylic acid and in the salicylic structure you may observe at fifth position if a amino is present it will be termed as 5 amino salicylic acid so this 5 amino salicylic acid is being joined with the sulfapyridine by the help of this azo linkage or azo bond. Azo linkage is the linkage or bond that is formed between the two nitrogen atom. So, due to the presence of two different derivatives, that is the 5 amino salicylic acid and second one is the sulfapyridine. Due to presence of these two different derivatives, this sulfasalazine drug has the different pharmacological action, like it can act as the anti inflammatory due to the presence of this 5 amino salicylic acid because uh, we know that the pro drugs are the drug that are going to be metabolized for converting into the active drug to form its action so once uh, by the help of azo reductase enzyme it will be cleaved and it will be converted into these two derivatives one will be the 5 amino salicylic acid other will be the sulfapyridine this region 5 amino salicylic acid will be responsible for its anti-inflammatory action and this sulfapyridine will be responsible for the antibacterial action so if someone asks you the question that uh, why sulfasalazine has the anti-inflammatory activity or uh, why it has the both antibacterial and anti-inflammatory activity you may answer accordingly if you know the mechanism of its metabolism now let's discuss the metabolism of sulfasalazine sulfasalazine we have already discussed that it is one of the product of sulfapyridine and in its chemical structure we observe that azo bond is present and whenever the azo bond are the what we say nitrogen atom are mostly present in these chemical structure the drug undergo through the reduction type of metabolism reaction so basically this sulfasalazine will undergo reduction by the help of azo reductase enzyme and it will get converted into the two active drug one is the sulfapyridine and other is the 5 amino salicylic acid they will have their different pharmacological action like sulfapyridine will act as the antibacterial and 5 amino salicylic acid will have the anti-inflammatory action sulfapyridine will absorb into the blood and the 5 amino salicylic acid due to its high polar nature will be excreted out the excretion route will be through the kidneys as the orange yellow color when the urine is alkaline 
but in case of when urine is the acidic or its pH is slightly acidic then there will be the no change in color or colorless urine will be observed in the excretion of the sulfasalazine. It is available in the enteric coated tablet form and it is normally cleaved inside the or what we say the metabolites are breakdown inside the intestine and it to be converted into its active metabolite. So this diagram shows the metabolism reaction. This is a chemical structure of sulfasalazine and uh, at this side this is the azo bond it is being targeted by the azo reductase enzyme and now this sulfasalazine will be converted into its two active metabolite one is this is 5 amino salicylic acid if azo reductase will act on this side and this region will be separated out or what we say cleaved and uh, it is will become 5 amino salicylic acid and this portion will be named as the sulfapyridine it will perform its antibacterial action and this will produce its anti-inflammatory action.